my fellow Latter Day Saints, Kenzie Retro here, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today it is reaction day, and uh, the reaction is going to be Pokemon related because something we've been waiting since the start of the series to happen. Here we go. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say what. It entails because uh, view, because let's just put it this way: viewers in Japan know about this already, as well as a lot of other fans around the world. Because uh, the episode is in because the episode that this happens is in Japanese, and the um, what was it? Um, The, um, what was it, what was it? It's a case of, uh, oh, okay, I'm just gonna come out with it. Ash Ketchum is finally a Pokemon League champion! 22 years we've been waiting for this, and it finally happened. So, watch Mojo. Yes, I'm reacting to another top 10. The 10 biggest victories of Ash Ketchum's Pokemon career. And obviously, because it's Ash Ketchum, it's involved in Pokemon, it's involved in the TV series. Um, the Pokemon Company, well, own the rights to the Pokemon TV series, and Pokemon is owned by Nintendo as far as the games are concerned. So, um, and of course, credit to Watch Mojo for creating the top 10. I have to do all this le- I have to do all this legal jargon before I start the sh before I start the, um, before I start the reaction. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Give it up for the Alolan Champion. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 <laughs> biggest victories. They had Ash to Ketchum. have someone with Ash in their name. He's called Satoshi in. For He's called Satoshi list, in the, the uh, Japanese year uh, dub of the anime. Korea, and highlighting his most important wins from tournaments, gym battles, and fierce rivalries. I mean, As it always, makes sense. You can follow me on Twitter at AshJBow, and hey, maybe let me know what your favorite Ash Ketchum I mean, battle is. It makes sense. It makes sense given um, given the fact the creator of Pokemon was Number 10, Satoshi Tajiri. Battle Starter! Battle Starter! The Alolan tournament was packed with some major competition for Pellet Town's favorite son, and none were quite as intimidating as Guzma. Ash met the team school leader in the semi finals of the tournament with a two versus two battle that saw them bring their best. Despite Guzma's switching in and out tactics, Toracat was able to dispatch Caesar effortlessly with a well timed fire blast. Too late. But it was when Golisopod stepped up that things really became difficult for our hero. This was a major test for Ash and Pikachu, whose battle with Guzma earlier in the series it, ended with Spoiler alert, expect Pikachu to pop to up a lot a in this opponent. list. <laughs> Thankfully, this time, Ash was able to employ all his lessons learned from the Alola region to finally prove they weren't such weaklings after all. Yep. <laughs> Number 9, beating Karina. Low sweep, go! Oh! This may just be another gym battle to some, but what really makes this battle stand out is the fact that Ash was able to face a mega evolved Pokemon and still come out on top. But yes, folk, I, yes, folk, I am Sherlock aware I'm still having, still having my gym, breakfast. I've Ash only just woken up. To face Karina's MVP Pokemon, but he had to get past Mianfu and Majog first, which was no easy task. Aura Spear! 
Oh boy. Oh! Ouch! The efforts of Holucha and Fletchinder got it down to sudden death between Pikachu and the insanely powerful Mega Evolved Lucario. Again, like I said, in expect Pikachu to pop up a lot the in this list. X and y, Sparks flew across the arena. Pikachu finished up the battle with a hellacious Thunderbolt, ending Ash the coveted Rumble Badge. Lucario is unable to battle. The winner is Ash Ketchum from Pallet Town. Of course. Now let's just see how much stronger you are. All right, battle begin. Ash has quite a habit of making rivals throughout his journeys in different regions. And yep. Trip was that dude in the Unova region. Considered by many to be Ash's worst rival to date, everyone was Ooh. rallying behind Ketchum to make quick work of his rival Debatable. in the Unova Pokemon League tournament. And that he did. This time we won't miss! Iron Tail, what?! Tooth and nail brawl between Pikachu and Superior, this match was chock full of explosions. But when the dust settled, Pikachu was the one still standing. Wait a minute, so what's up with Superior? Superior is that answer your question? Battle. Pikachu wins! This was sweet revenge for Ash after losing to Trip in the Junior Cup, and the fact that this was the first round of the tournament is just the cherry on top of the Vanillux. All right, <laughs> so let's both give it our best. <laughs> Number seven, teaming up to take down Lysander. None Ooh. of you will be needed in the new world I'm creating. Needed or not needed? Who are you to make that decision? Hey, Ooh. we never said ganging up on someone was out of the question. When the evil leader of Team Flair, Lysander, finally initiated his wicked plan, it was up to tournament finalists Ash and Alan to put a stop to him. All right, fire on! Use fire free! <laughs> This wasn't going to be easy, because Lysander was packing a mean Pyro and Mega Gyarados in his arsenal. Lysander seemed nigh and be- Wait a minute, did he just pronounce Gyarados wrong? Mega Gyarados in his arsenal. My- okay, Lysander never mind. nigh and beatable with his ferocious Pokemon, but the young Dream Team brought the fight back and then some. While it may not be Ash's fairest battle, the fact that he was able to save the world counts for something, right? I would say so, yeah. That guy's got a bloody shiny Gyarados. Number six, winning the Orange League. That came out wrong. Water is super effective against Rock. After Ash's heartbreaking loss to Richie in the Indigo League, he sought redemption by running through the Orange Islands with his woes. His final hurdle would be taking on the leader of the Supreme Gym, Drake, who made sure that Ash worked damn hard for the trophy. Most terrifying of all was his powerhouse of a Dragonite, which was able to take down several of Ash's Pokemon in succession. This brought it down to Pikachu who, despite the seemingly impossible odds, was able to bring the brute down with a point-blank thunder. Ooh. <laughs> This marked Ash's first major victory as he claimed the prize of champion of the Orange Islands. Just wait till Brock hears about this. Number five, silencing Sawyer. Yes, you raper! Oh. Say what you will about this pint-sized trainer, but he was one hell of a challenge for Ash. Facing off in the semi-final round of the Kalos League, Ash would have to bring his best against the genius level Pokemon trainer, Sawyer. With incredible showings from the likes of Salamence and Aegislash, things looked absolutely hopeless for Ash's humble team. Thunderbolt! 
Pikachu. Pikachu shows up everywhere. In a nail biter between Greninja and the Mega Evolved Sceptile. A major type disadvantage for Ash, but one he was able to. I wonder when Mega Evolutions are going to come into Pokemon Go. An absolute spectacle of a fight. This victory against his Kalos rival brought Ash to a tournament final for the first time. Which of course he lost, but hey, good effort, mate. I'll never give up. We'll battle again, right? Number four, pounding Paul. Paul, there's nobody like you. That's why I'm gonna win this. <laughs> Paul was less of a rival and more like the antithesis of Ash with his ruthless disregard for his Pokemon. While Ash had always mm, preached sounds about right. with his partners, especially in his Paul early days, was always focused on power, and power is definitely what he brought in this Sinnoh League contest. Get out, Pikachu! Oh my! This battle is still one of Ash's biggest to date, taking place over three episodes of pure action, and coming oh. to a head with Electivire versus Infernape. Protect. Just cool it as you like. Majorly cathartic victory, as the Chimchar Paul had once deemed expendable was the one to give him the boot out of the tournament. How's that for karma? <laughs> what goes around? <laughs> what goes around comes around. Oh! Number three, grounding Gary. Oh yes! Yes! Oh, no. They stopped Toros in its tracks. This one will mean a lot to anyone who started watching the show from day one. That was me! They seemed to be one step ahead of our hero throughout yep. their rivalry, but this was Ash's first chance to prove that wrong. Magmar is hit by the most powerful Pokemon attack! Magmar! The Kaboom. two met in the Johto Victory League first round, where we saw absolute yeah, we had three seasons. between the likes of Heracross We had three seasons Magmar of this, guys. We had Snorlax. the Johto but Journeys, the Johto League Champions, and Master Quest. Ash's Charizard and Gary's starter Pokemon, Blastoise. Another terrible typing matchup for our boy. Charizard's too close. Blastoise can't aim with his Hydro Cannons. Use Dragon Rage. <laughs> Dodge it, quick. Blastoise. But shockingly, it was Charizard Seismic who toss. stood on top, proving that Ash truly was Pallet Town's best and putting an end to their legendary rivalry. Five years in the making. Five years. Because we had the Number original two, series. Battle Frontier victory. We had the original Razor series. The, um, what else did we have? Uh, Stand strong. Orange Island. Having then you had the three series of Jotos. So yeah, Pokemon like I said, League five years in the region. making. It was time for Ash to prove why he was the main character of the goddamn show. Yep. After all, it's no fun watching someone lose over and over and over. The best course of action? Taking on the frontier brains of the Battle Frontier and their incredibly powerful Pokemon. Or long story short, the Battle Frontier Elite Four. While his matches against Lucy, Tucker, and Greta were all impressive, it was his climactic showdown against Brandon that proved to be the most challenging. Iron Tail. Ooh! All right, now that was a hit. Able to dispatch Brandon's Regis with all reliable Pikachu. Ha <laughs> ha! Pikachu once again. again. Ash and his competency as a Pokemon trainer. Regis. Reg Ice is unable to battle! And so the winner is Ash of Palatown! Yeah! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm pretty sure that was the, the first time we actually saw him face videos. off against the, the Elite Four. To be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the Alolan League Champion. Was there any doubt as to what the number one pick would be? It took 22 years, but it finally happened. It was an unwritten rule in anime that Ash always loses the Pokemon League, no matter what. 
Yeah. But hell finally froze over when Ash faced off against Gladian in the Alola Ah, League the finals. Premier Ball. A relatively humbled tournament by normal yeah, the standards. Premier Ball, which this is what is used in Pokemon Go to, to be catch one of Ash's Pokemon in raids. Opening with Civil A versus Melmetal. When this proved to be too much, Pikachu evened the odds by finishing ah, off <laughs> Pikachu saving the day once Zoroark again. Zoroark to a draw. Ooh. Surprisingly, the decisive battle was Lycanroc versus Lycanroc, with Ashes pulling off the W. <laughs> Lycan the battle for this match is Lycanroc versus Lycanroc, and the winner is Lycanroc! Which one, though? Ah, boom! <laughs> Clunk! This marked the very first time Ash had ever won a Pokemon League, proving that we all grow up someday. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Well, I can now officially take my hat off to you, Ash. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. You're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, isn't that meant to be, um, why is this, why is the font upside down? Uh, because I was at Ariana Grande last night, folks. Great show. <clears throat> Voice is still a little bit short, but didn't stop me from recording today. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'll see what else I can get recorded today, and then we'll uh, take it from there. I mean, I might do a review on uh, the Ariana Grande show. Possibly. We'll wait and see. But, uh, but, until, but yeah, um, until next time, folks, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter-day Saints notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Previous video on the left, playlist on the right, and I'll catch you guys again very soon. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out, and as always, stay faithful.